हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेड अल्जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव के मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के माइनस के मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ के हियर वी सी दैट दिस के इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री टाइम्स सो वी राइट इट एज के क्यूब्ड माइनस दिस के इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू टाइम्स सो वी राइट इट एज के स्क्वेयर and it is equals to 100 and now in the next step uh, here we need some simplifications now we need to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have k cubed minus k square equals to this is 100 and we write this 100 as 125 minus 25 so when you subtract these two values then we get here 100 only uh, and now in the next step uh, we uh, need here uh, to move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and we make the pair of this k cube with 125 and it will be written as k cubed minus 125 because this is positive term here it will become a negative term and after that we have this is minus k square this will becomes plus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as k cubed minus 125 and here we take common negative sign it will become k square minus 25 equals to 0. So now here we need to rewrite this equation as so we have this is k cubed minus we write this 125 as 5 cubed into this is our k square minus we write this 25 as a 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to apply two nice formulas so first we can apply the cubic formula it is written as a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and after that we can apply on this term uh, the second formula it is a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need these two nice formulas so that here first we can apply uh, the cubic formula on the first factor so that uh, this equation is implies that we have this is k cubed minus 5 cubed and when you can apply this cubic formula it will be written as k minus 5 times of k square plus k into 5 plus 5 square and minus here we can apply a, the second algebraic formula so according to this formula we write over these terms as k minus 5 times of k plus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here uh, you see that uh, we have k minus 5 be the common term so that uh, we will take common k minus 5 from both of these terms and after taking common k minus 5 we get the remaining terms are here we get this term it is k square plus k times of 5 becomes 5k and this 5 square equals to 25 and when you take common this k plus k minus 5 you get the remaining term is this is minus times of k plus 5 and here we multiply this negative term on both of these values it will becomes minus k minus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and we have k minus 5 times of k square plus this 5k minus k equals to 4k and 25 minus 5 equals to plus 20 and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step here we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that first case is we write k minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write k square plus 4k plus 20 equals to 0. 
so from first case we easily get the value of k equals to 5 and this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and now we can solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula so in order to apply the quadratic formula we need to uh, make the uh, we need to write the coefficients of this equation so its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 and we state the quadratic formula as k equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our nice quadratic formula and uh, then now here we need to uh, put the values of a b and c in this formula so that in order to uh, uh, put the values of a b and c it will be written as k is equals to first you have minus b the value of b is 4 it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 20 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as k equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of here you have uh, this is a 4 square uh, and uh, when you here you can take common 4 so when you take common 4 we get the remaining values are because this is 4 square uh, here we take common 1 4 and we get the 1 4 and here you get the remaining term is 20 and it is divided by 2. So uh, in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus here you see that the square root of 4 uh, is equals to 2 into square root of 4 minus 20 equals to minus 16 and it is divided by 2. So now here uh, we need to uh, focus on this radical term so we have this is minus 4 plus minus uh, 2 times here you can apply the square root on separately on both of these values so this is square root of 16 and square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have uh, we need more simplifications so it will be written as k equals to minus 4 plus minus this is 2 into square root of 16 equals to 4 and we know that a square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so we will obtain here our k is equals to minus 4 plus minus 2 4 is 8 iota and now we break this fraction we can apply this 2 separately on both of these values uh, so that finally we have uh, the other two complex roots of the given equation are minus 2 these are cancelled out by each other and we get minus 2 plus minus this is 2 4 is 8 and minus 2 plus minus 4 iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos